Welcome to the Broadband Academy. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about the connection of a snap and steel F connector. All right, so in this video right now, what we have is you have a piece of coax cable. You have, it could be RG59, RG6, RG11. Um, that's all dependent on the size, but uh, what we're looking at right now is here's your insulation. I'll just start this. They're going to actually strip off the insulation to a proper length. Here's a stop. Um, they're going to uh, score the cable, the center, uh, the dielectric, and then pull that off, okay, to a proper length. So here's your center conductor, okay. Here's your dielectric. Here is your braid that gives its flexibility. Okay, in the cable, the bend and kind of twist, uh, depending on the weather and so forth. And then you have your metal foil, okay, your outer conductor, inner conductor, dielectric, outer conductor, braid, okay, for flexibility. So bend that braid back, and then comes the compression connector. That compression connector is going to slide on. This is actually going to make the compression and the uh, securing of the connector onto the cable. As we slide that all the way up, I'm stopping again. This is your dielectric. Okay, this should be flush with that inner uh, metal ring inside the connector. That gives it the proper length. All right. Um, your metal foil will then, once it's compressed, make a uh, electrical connection for your outer conductor. All right, so inner conductor, outer conductor. You have a 75 ohm uh, characteristic impedance. So if you took your volt ohm meter and put it on the resistance setting and you went across the center conductor to the outer conductor, you should be real close to 75 ohms. We'll continue on. They're going to get the compression tool. Compression tool locks one section into place. So when this comes up, it's going to compress uh, this piece and make a nice secure connection onto the cable. And here's a side view of that as well. Once that's done, if you try pulling this connector off, um, you shouldn't be able to do so. Now they're making the connection point to the actual ground block, tighten that down securely. And usually this is in a some type of NID or home termination cabinet. Here's your ground wire and your ground locking nut. And that concludes this video.